Donald Trump has had a blast. Donald Trump has been on just a freaking skyrocket rocket ship for the last 48 hours. Here's what happened. On the same day, I'm pretty sure it was Friday last week, on the same day, he had two court cases, one in Georgia, one in New York, and I'm pretty sure they were at the same time. And so this, this particular court case, which is kind of absolutely insane, uh, the judge is ruling that now he can no longer do business in the state of New York City and that he's being fined for essentially doing business uh, the, in, in a certain way in New York City. And Donald Trump is now being ordered by the judge to pay a $300 million, I think $350 million fine. And so basically to understand exactly what he did was, you know what I mean? He wanted to put up a new building and whenever you want to do that, all real estate agents know you leverage what's worth, you know, on your current building. And then they give you a loan for like 50%. And then that's, you go back and forth and that's inevitably what you get. And so to get more money, you tell them that your building's worth more and you've got 24 karat gold walls and that's what makes it this much. And so then they're like, oh, okay, we didn't know that. We'll add that value to your house. Now we think it's worth a billion. We'll give you 500 million instead of the 200 million we were going to give you. And now Donald Trump has 300 million more dollars in his pocket. And so that's why the judge is mad. And so unfortunately, what that is, is every single real estate agent or anyone who's ever sold a house for themselves knows that that's what you do. That's what you do. You tell them that you have a bonus room. You tell them that this studio costs $50,000 to renovate. Okay. The paint alone costs another 20,000. And then to have them come in and finish it and put the electric in and the lights and the cameras and the microphones and the podcasts and the equipment and everything else, that was another 20,000. So all in all total, the room I'm standing in, as you see it now, has cost us upwards of $150,000 to $200,000. And so when they appraise our house at only like $150,000, $200,000, now I have to go to the bank and say, wait, this room doubles that number. Our house is actually worth four hundred. dollars I know the one beside us is only worth two, but this one's worth four. That's what you do. That's what everyone does. And it's quite literally insane that um, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure uh, Kevin O'Leary uh, said the same thing the other day uh, on uh, CNN. I'm pretty sure. Well, let's leave out Trump for a minute and let's leave out politics and just talk about what happens in real estate development anywhere. So if you're a developer and you've got a building on, on a block anywhere in America and it's worth, let's say, five hundred million dollars and you want to build a building right beside it, you go to the bank and say, this building is worth $500 oh, anyway, million. Dollars. I'd like to borrow a construction finance loan against this asset. And I want you to tell me it's worth $500 million too. And the bank negotiates with you and says, well, no, we think it's worth $400 million. And you fight yep. it out. You're always trying to show your assets in the brightest light with the sunshine right. you can possibly determine for them. You want them to be worth the very most because you're only going to get a 40 or 50% loan to value, as it's called. Then you borrow that money, in the case of a $500 Everybody million, does asset, it. Then you get $250 million, and you build a new building with a construction finance loan. And so that's what this case is all about. What? And, and by the way, forget about Trump. Every single real estate developer everywhere on earth does this. They always talk about their asset being worth a lot, and the bank says no. And that's just the way it is. Right. So in this case, when I'm trying to figure out, and I'm not pro or con, yeah. or I don't care about the politics, who lost money? Nobody. The bank got paid back the construction finance go. loan, and a new building was built. And if, if you're going to sue this case and win, you got to sue every real estate developer everywhere. This is all they do. This is what they do all day long. So listen, that's it. I mean, listen, and, and just like, like I said, politics aside, I've said it a hundred times on this podcast. I'm not a, I, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I don't know anything about those parties or what they stand for, or what they represent or why I should vote anytime that I have to in this country. But as far as Donald Trump goes as a person, this, it, he see Kevin O'Leary just said it, right? If you're going to go after Trump for this, you necessarily have to go after every real estate agent who said that the house is worth 
$20,000 more dollars than it actually was to beef up the commission check and to get their client a better deal. Like, I mean, come on, like, let's, let's, let's be realistic here. 